all new at 10, they are a staple in our communities, but recently the generation of winter Texans that have been coming here for years are not around anymore. There's a big push now to get new visitors to the area and keep our economy afloat. They come here to escape the cold from back home. Many have made their primary residence here and then visit family in their home states, but the generation that never skipped a season down in the valley is aging, and many of those winter visitors have sadly passed away. Some of the things that they discussed yesterday that, or they shared with us was we have a lot of them that have passed away. I mean, there's some parks that have experienced up to 40 people dying. Julian Alvarez, president of the Rio Grande Valley Partnership, met with city leaders from across the valley and RV park owners this week to see what can be done to get the winter Texan traditions rolling again. Bringing in new winter Texans is going to take some effort this year, Alvarez says, especially with recent border issues making headlines across the nation. Well, the media, unfortunately, has portrayed the area as being, you know, uh, you know, over overwhelmed by the number of illegals that have been crossing over. So that obviously is a concern to many folks. The local RV parks assure their current and new residents that they have security taken care of. McAllen, Mission, Harlingen, Brown. So we're, we're living in some of the safest places in the country. Alvarez says the partnership is personally reaching out to former winter Texans and potential new visitors by sending letters telling them about what they can expect if they decide to live here for the season. And so what we're doing is we we wrote a, a letter to them in Informing them that since they've been gone since last year, think of all the exciting things that have happened, Marcy. We've had SpaceX, we've had the unveiling of shields of I-69, and then of course the consolidation of schools with the possible medical school in the area. Valleywide cities are joining the effort since the money the winter Texans bring to the area is an essential part of the economy. There's billions of dollars that are generated through their visits here annually. Uh, our hotels, they stay there, they eat at all our eateries, they visit our parks, they take advantage of the movies and some of our shopping centers, so we, 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 we depend on them and, and we certainly encourage them to continue coming. The City of Mission has the most RV parks that cater to winter Texans. They are planning a huge marketing campaign to keep the visitors coming.